Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Michaela. I'm Katsu. And today we are in Okinawa. Yay! <laughs> Okinawa. Where's yeah. Okinawa? It's in the most southern part of Japan. And we are walking down Koksai Dori, mm -hmm. Koksai International Road. You can find lots of really cool Okinawan gifts and like souvenirs down this road and also a ton of like Okinawan themed I restaurants. I, I think I found my favorite. What, what, what did you find? Oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It would look good on you, you should buy it. Known as the Hawaii of Japan, Okinawa is one of the most popular vacation destinations for Japanese locals. And luckily for us, it's only a short flight from Fukuoka City too. It may not be prime tourist season just yet, but Okinawa in late February, early March just might be our favorite time of the year to visit. Typical Okinawa. <laughs> I like this. Kokusai Road is lined with shops offering the best of Okinawa's identity and culture. Even if you're not looking for anything in particular, you'll be surprised by what you can find here. Try to touch it, that's it. Yeah, so it's it. Alright, we got this Yukishio soft cream, which is a salted vanilla ice cream. They also recommend trying these different types of salt on top of the ice cream. So there's green tea sea salt, hibiscus salt, Yukishio snow salt, pepper salt, hot pepper salt, spicy dynamite salt, and wasabi salt. I'll go for dynamite salt. Oh my god, alright. Hardcore person. Oh my god. Go for it. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons Okinawa is so much fun to visit is because it doesn't quite feel like the rest of Japan. With Taiwan being closer than Tokyo and with the presence of the United States Army, Okinawa is a strong fusion of Japan, Southeast Asia, and North American cultures, with, of course, its own unique cultural values and flair thrown into the mix as well. These are bigger than my hand. These are probably bigger than my face. You can actually buy really fresh um, seafood here, uh, bring them to the upstairs, yeah. and then the restaurant will cook you. <laughs> cook you? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, you bring you? the fish up and the restaurant will put you, you. And, and the that, fish will eat and you. That, yeah. <laughs> and the fish will have their revenge, they will eat you for lunch. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. so progressive. Just, it's all about the fish rights. Make sure that we'll be the one who will be cooked. So Kokusai Dori is really interesting, but if you turn a corner and go down Ukishima Street, you can find that it's a lot like Uraharajuku in the sense that it's really, really uh, stylish mm -hmm. and kind of like clean and quiet. But there's a whole bunch of really cool, like small local shops, trendy shops, fashion stores, recycle shops, restaurants, yeah, yeah. cafes. Yeah. Lots of really cool stuff down here. So where are we going now? Um, we're heading to a complete vegan restaurant. Oh. Yep. Um, I got offer from the uh, the owner this time mm. to make a promotional video of the restaurant. Yeah. They use um, the complete vegan ingredients mm -hmm. like vegetables and like everything's organic. Tatsu and I have been trying to eat less meat. Right. And Tatsu prefers to eat meat, so we will probably never ever be totally vegetarian. That's true. But I think it's just a matter of finding food that's like the right combination of delicious and healthy uh -huh. for him to keep going. All of these are made from grains, which is very fascinating. It tastes like fish. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, it does kind of look like a fillet of fish. But it's not a fish at all. So when you come to Okinawa, you will find taco rice stands and taco rice restaurants everywhere. But if you have dietary restrictions, it could be hard to partake in this cultural experience, which is why it's good that they have their own meatless version of the taco rice here. Mm -hmm. Start by destroying it. Destroy it. Go. What a man. So basically, you mix it up, all the ingredients, you mix it up with the rice. Salsa, itadakimasu. <laughs> all right. Ready? Yep. I'm ready. Ah. <laughs> Do. Mm. How is it? Oh, it's good. It's good, right? Mm. So Tatsu seem to like these, and they have a bunch of pre-made packs that you can take home. So I think I'm going to pick up a few. 
and just like take them back to Fukuoka as souvenirs so we can have them on special occasions. Just see my thing. Hey, Tatsu, look what I got. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to explore the best that Okinawa has to offer, you absolutely must rent a car and get out of the city. With the freedom to move around the island, you can easily discover hidden beaches, and if you're traveling before tourist season like we are, you're likely to have them all to yourself, too. Oh, this is beautiful. Nagahama Beach. It's February, so it's not peak travel season. There's nobody else on this beach. Well, there's someone else on this beach, but hardly anybody else on this beach. It's 25 degrees today. We've got beautiful, clear ocean water, clear blue skies. There's one cloud. And one it's just cloud. like, yeah. It's so nice. How's the drone coming? Ah, it's you know, like flying drone in such a beautiful place is, is, oh wow. I used to think that Okinawa was like a spring summer uh, tourist destination, but I actually think I like like February, March, April a lot more. And there's less people. And because it's off season, things are cheaper. So where are we going? We are going to the one of the most beautiful aquarium in Japan or in the world. I love your intonation and how you speak like this. Ah. Like the waves. So we're going to the Chirami Aquarium, mm -hmm. which is one of the most famous aquariums in the world. Uh -huh. I think because they have these giant whale sharks. I think that's what they're called. We're going to see them. The aquarium is inside of what is called Ocean Expo Park, an open field learning facility with different sections dedicated to marine life, botanical gardens, children's playgrounds, restaurants, beaches, and more. Alright, here's our lunch, Okinawan soba and some shikwasa juice. Shikwasa is like a ok Okinawan citrus. Um, it's kind of like a lime. It's a little bit sharp and bitter. And yeah, some Okinawan soba and some shikwasa juice. After 4 p.m., the admission to the aquarium gets discounted. And honestly, I don't think you need to spend a lot of time here, so this seems like the best way to go. Okay. Let me go. Go. There are a total of 77 exhibition tanks at the aquarium, mostly showcasing local specimens that can be found in the surrounding waters. To mimic their native environment, the tanks are replenished with seawater collected from the nearby ocean. The most popular display is without a doubt the whale shark exhibit, which extends two floors and allows children and adults alike to realize how small they really are. So this time I let Tatsu um, reserve the Airbnb and I was a little bit worried because his sense for like good rooms isn't as good as mine. I spend a lot of time making like wish lists and like finding rooms that I want to stay in on Airbnb and I thought he would just kind of like book the first thing that was available. And inside it's actually, it's so, it's so nice. So good job. I told you. Sometimes you can trust my, all the sense and taste and flavor. I learned. I learned something new. So the living room kitchen is very, very compact and there's a hammock chair like right in the middle of the room for some reason. Lots of curtains, lots of big windows and we have a patio in the bedroom and then in the living room there's like another like a little lawn space. I have morning coffee out here if the weather's nice. Stop! <laughs> You're like a child. <laughs> Overall, Okinawa is an extremely laid back and relaxed little island with some of the most gorgeous scenery in all of Japan. And what's better, traveling during the off season means that even on a lower budget, you can still afford the island vacation of your dreams. 
Hey guys, so I just have to say, this video has been sponsored by our lovely supporters at Patreon.com, and extra content and deleted scenes from this video are available on Patreon now. Would you like to help us make more travel content across Japan? Check the description box for more details on how you can support our channel. You can also support us by liking this video, turning notifications on, or leaving a comment and letting us know what you think. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again soon! Bye!